Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about the last uh, installment in our Saturn series. We talked about the mythology, the story, then we talked about the Saturn return which had some parallels with the story and today we will talk about the, the psychology behind what Saturn means and what does the Sun-Saturn relationship have to do in a person's chart. right? In the last video, like you remember, we talked about how shedding your ego and stopping uh, like when you stop putting the blame on the outside world, that's when Shani becomes your greatest benefit because that's when you start looking inwards for answers and that's all that he's trying to ask you to do. Right? And then the amount of blessings that comes after that, that follows after that is amazing. Right? Now, astrologically, the placement of Saturn and Sun in the same house or in hard aspect, right? full aspect to each other, it's not considered as a good thing the age-old animosity between the father and the son will resurface, right? The, the two planets are not friends. And the native may feel the lack of uh, fatherly affection, right? And a yearning to make the father proud, their father proud, but not able to do so and feeling helpless, right? A lack of self-esteem because son is ego, it's self-esteem. Um, it may also fear. It, it may also be a fear of um, authoritative figures, and a cold and often very critical evaluation of their father's behavior and character, causing um, or, or caused by estrangement, or maybe the father was not around when the child was growing up, or was traveling, or something. Right now, when I say father, remember it can be the actual father or any authoritative fatherly figure in this person's life you know some people say it's their football coach or somebody right i mean whoever they consider fatherly now psychology is rarely literal it's a play of perceptions so each person's life will be different right but so i'm just giving you some high level indications the constant yearning to please is what is uh, seen in people with this kind of a placement and this particular aspect will go away after the person's Saturn return. That's coming up, coming of age period. Incidentally, you know, whenever Saturn return happens, right, it, it does cause that same aspect to the sun as well, because we're talking about a person who has a degree to degree lock and hence a highly prominent sun-Saturn connection. Now in the story, Saturn made his mark on the world when he was given a position of responsibility, right? When his father finally gave him what he deserved and recognized what he is capable of. And in, in the eyes of his father, he was uh, he felt like he got what he wanted. So the natives with sun Saturn aspects, they also will rise in life when they resolve that early childhood uh, memories or um, the thoughts they have of lack of recognition, right? Sun Saturn aspect is a topic in itself and has huge uh, um, roots into psychology, right? Now, when we think about okay, this person with this particular aspect is you know yearning for appreciation, yearning for uh, affection from the fatherly figure, um, wanting to prove themselves, right? It's again their perception. Right? The father may be around, but then because of these aspects in this person's chart, the soul has to learn this lesson in this lifetime. So from their perspective, perspective right, um, there may be other siblings who are not viewing the father the same way, but this person specifically views the father in this particular way because of the way their chart is laid out. And why? Because once, because they have to go through the cycle right to get to the end of it and learn because that's the whole reason why the soul is here otherwise there's no point of even living this lifetime right the reason we are here in this shell which is in locked in five senses and three dimensions is for us to learn right the soul has uh, endless capabilities right it is locked in this dimension in this shell where it's many of its capabilities are kind of pulled in and it's like I can't do this here only because it has to learn these difficult lessons so when you have that Sun Saturn aspect the way you view that authoritative figure in your life or fatherly figure or your birth father maybe the birth father is 
your perspective, right? So when um, clients come to me with these kind of charts and they tell me, um, I, 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 I didn't feel loved by my father growing up or I, he wasn't around a lot or, you know, I don't really have a connection with my father. Um, there may be other siblings in the same household who didn't feel that way. It's just this person because of their child. And the important lesson for them to learn is when they go through that and they, they then they're like, they, they spend their adulthood, you know, their uh, later years in life trying to yearn for that same appreciation they didn't get as a child. And then they start falling into all these other lessons which they have to learn and challenges, right? The moment they resolve that memory from their childhood or, or that um, lesson that the, the soul came with, the karmic lesson that the soul came with, the moment they, they resolve it, saying that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the way I'm seeing my father. For me, all that matters is me, right? I'm, my, my, my answers are inside me, right? That moment that that realization happens is when soul growth happens. That's when enlightenment happens, right? And that is what Shelley is trying to teach you. So it's very important to understand that behind everything that you see in your life that you blame on Saturn or Shani, and you say, oh, this happened during my Sati Sati, or this happened during my Shani transit, and Shani did this, Shani did that. It's important to understand that because that happened in your life, yes, you struggled. Maybe you could have struggled less if you would have understood why it's happening. But even if you struggled, at the end of that, something good came out of it, right? And and then we can also reduce that suffering, like I said, if you understand why it's happening. So that's the whole uh, idea of astrology. And that's why it's very, uh, something that really interests me because I can see the connections between everything that the planets do and the psyche of the person or the, or the soul, right? So that was the last video about the Sun Saturn basically the last video about Saturn, we talked a lot about the Sun-Saturn aspects because that's one of the main aspects. Um, I hope you liked it. And uh, as, as, as I always say, show your love by subscribing to my channel. And uh, come back here next week for the next video. It's going to have more information. And sound off your comments. Tell me what you want to hear. Tell me what you want me to talk about. Because, um, you know, I'm going with my, my whatever I feel like talking about each day. But uh, if there is anything specific that you guys want to learn about or hear me talk about, just tell me and, you know, let's, let's talk about that in our next video. Um, thanks, as always, guys, for coming. And I hope to see you in the next um, installment of this channel.